Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to the Cookie Run Oven Break. It's the Cookie Run Oven Break. I was going to say the new Cookie Run Oven Break update, which that's technically true because by the time that I recorded this, the update just came out like over an hour ago, and there's still some new stuff that I want to explore. So that's why I'm going to be escaping over the events. And oh boy, it's this event: Pepper and Gino Cookies Valley Exploration. Okay, this video might be kind of focusing on that, but before I really get into anything. There's so many things here. Well, like, I would just, I would just maybe do a video on this. Now, I've done this video before, but I'm pretty sure it had something to do with Adventure Cookie, where, look, it says, follow the path to complete the mission. So, for example, you have this first mission. It says, collect 1,500 jellies in the single run, and this is for Breakout. This is easy. You could just, like, do one of the, like, Breakout levels that just came out, and you could just probably do it in, like, Probably one single run, like so. It says single run right here, and it says up here first information bubble. Explore the item filled valley. Va value, valley. Try to find the pepperoncino cookies pets. So you can do this to try and get uh, the scorch beam. That's cool. And here's the rules. Now play the final mission of each chapter to unlock the next chapter. Choose between the upper and lower paths for each missions. Finish all paths for even more rewards. And complete the current missions to unlock the following missions. So I've done this before, and as you can see here, there's three chapters. Like, before, it, this was done with three chapters, and was this with Adventure Cookie, or like in a Crowberry Cookie update? I don't remember. I think in Crowberry it was a puzzle, actually, but what, whenever it was, I've done this before, and how it works is I can't show myself unlocking every mission. So, like, let's say if I got this complete, I can't get every single one of them complete, and then, like, get the rewards out of them. Because to get all the other missions to work, I have to get the rewards for this one. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to wait until I get all the way to chapter 3, get this one unlocked, and then just it'll be all fine. But that's definitely going to take some time, and it's a good thing that I was able to focus on this first, because then I know, because I didn't do anything else in the update yet. All I did was run in Pepperoncino Cookies Trial. That's still going to be hard to say, I tell you. But what I can record next is I can do some running in the breakout, and then I can hope that in one run I'll be able to get enough jellies, which specifically 1,500, to unlock this one, and then I can see what the next missions are, which is going to be split up between this one and this one, which you don't have to select one path, like it says, you can do both, and both will prop it will properly give you more rewards, and if you want to, you can literally do one path, and then loop all the way back around, and then get the whole chapter done. As long as you get the 24 out of 24 done to get the final uh, rewards, which I'm pretty sure that's still going to be every single one of them, so you have to do all the missions in the end, uh, then you'll just get all the rewards that you need to get. So, let's do some breakout running, why don't we? Let's go over here. There is a new episode of the Randomizer in which, instead of it being the, I think the last season was the, uh, Tower, uh, the Frozen Tower of Wave or something? Or whatever it was. Now it's the Sands of Yogurka. So I'm gonna do that soon, but I'm not gonna do that right now. And since this only ha this only has one day left, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing some running on the Fragrant Lotus Paradise. Like oh, it has a little bit more than one day, but still, there's still like not much time for this in comparison with the other one. So let's go ahead and do some running on this. And by the way, I could still spend stuff on this. It would be kind of accurate to get some fire spirits on this because hey, there, this is the update where he, where he got the legendary costume. So I feel like that'd be accurate. I really don't have to do much for my team shifting. I think that like. How it's organized right now everything is basically perfect well i guess there definitely could be some improvements but i think a uh, sugar glass cookie is a good cookie to run with especially as a first cookie uh, running in the other breakout uh one like the one that was uh, in the bottom left that is a very good cookie to start off with because i think you can get up to over 500 million points on the first run with sugar glass cookie it is such a good cookie to run with but okay, as long as I get at least 1,500 jellies on this first run, I'll be fine. Which I actually do have some high hopes with Sugar Glass Cookie because, uh, I, is she, I really hope it's just she. I, I just don't remember. But, uh, let's get a super this. I'm pretty sure just, I, man, I just suck with cookie genders, I'm telling you. But, just in case, I'm just say she, as far as my memory goes. Uh, she has the pet, which, when she falls, she will gain literally half of her energy back, and that basically means I can run, like, uh, 1.5 times the normal distance. In which, yeah, okay, I'm saying that accurately. And that still also means that I can get my uh, ability to activate a lot more times, which, that's not even the important part about getting the jellies. The important part is just uh, letting my, act like, my skill activate, and letting me go a long distance. Because look at this, I can just float through all the obstacles, I can get that nice handful of jellies right there, and it can all be fine, and then it'll help me with my points. And uh, at the end of this, once I beat this run, 
Uh, let me just get that. Nice. Uh, once I get through this run, I will see if I've gotten through the mission. Because if I didn't, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to beat that. And I'm just going to like try and get, and get the mission done. Because if this run doesn't do it for me, I'm just going to get the mission done. And then turn back on the recording and just try and find out what my next mission is. I'm not going to try and do every single mission on the video. Like I said, I'm just going to do a couple. And then on camera, I'm going to show the final reward. And then show off all the rewards that you could potentially get. Which I'm pretty sure you can really realistically do this in like all one like a game session. But then again, I also have a fear where uh, it's going to show me like, Oh, you have to do a guild reward where you got to check in like three times. And I'm just there like... Uh, I gotta wait like three days to do that because every go check in, it's it's always like a day. Ah, uh, of course. Okay, collect that. All right, back at this. Nice. That's a lot of jellies I could collect right there. I missed the thing. Oh no, that's bad. I literally just missed one of those things back there because of my magnetization. It literally just sucked it in right there, and I couldn't get it. That's gonna bother me throughout this whole thing. But I can't just stop. I'm not gonna stop for like one gel. I I will only replay through it. If, like, I end up not getting the points in the end. If I don't, that'll be very upsetting. But then that'll just give me an excuse to run through it again off camera and just to collect that one thing that I missed. But anyway, still upset about that, but... I honestly wish there was a little thing where it tells you uh, what the mission you're trying to focus on and how many jellies that you've collected, which I know you can just check it back at the uh, event menu, but still, it would be nice to know my progress. <sighs> but I think I've gotten enough. I think. But I have no idea. It's hard for me to check. Alright, let me take a gander. I'm just gonna press OK. Yes, sure, that's a bag. I'm gonna go to the events menu. Don't care about your crystal jar. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. We got 1,500 out of 1,500. Fantastic. So we unlock the next two missions, which is collect 200 light spheres in total. Ah, uh, great. And that's still running in this one. Or join a guild and check in one time. This is perfect. I'm pretty sure if I go over uh, to the guild. Oh, thank the Lord, I have it available. I have my check it available. Don't ask me why it's Kissy Rockstar, it's a girlfriend thing. And uh, actually, wait, I'm not gonna explore anything yet because that might be for a future mission. Don't do anything yet because you might waste it and you're gonna have to wait hours until the next thing is revealed. So I'm gonna go back here and you might be asking, uh, did I do this? Here's the thing, okay, here's an interesting fun fact. I actually ran in this, like I ran for the first thing again, and surprisingly it didn't give it to me, but that's probably because I already ran the first time, so maybe it didn't count any of the light spheres that I collected. But I can receive this, and I've done it. So I can check the next one, and for trophy race, I need to get 200 million points in a single run. This does, this, I think this also includes practice, so I think I can quickly go over, I can go over to the trophy race champions league. All of my champion shop has been reset, and I'm going all the way up. I've made it all the way up to master, which is pretty good. And does that give me any sort of reward? Uh, escape emblem, uh, escape emblem, emblem will be automatically equipped. Okay. And my trophy dropped. Okay, Sky Warrior Jelly Set and Cleaver of Suns. Sure. And now my points are reset. Anyway, I'm gonna load up, uh, okay, Ruby 2. Okay, sure. Uh, let's say, uh, Cutting Edge. Maybe we can do that? Or the fun, oh, the, is the, oh, no, wait, no. It's this level that's new. I'm gonna save this for its own video. But, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the fun-filled cookie land, only just because I don't think I have much experience with this level, as m as far as I remember. So, let's, uh, wait, 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 does it? Okay, no, I still have, I thought it automatically equipped me with, a uh, Pepperoncino. But, alright, let's just practice in the fun-filled cookie land. I don't have much experience with this level, as far as I remember. Heck, this probably is a new level, and I just completely forgot about it. But then again, I haven't really ran to this level, as far as I remember. But, eh, whatever. Maybe I didn't have many issues with it. Well, uh, but whatever. I'm fine with it anyway. Like, look. This is pretty chaotic, but it's all- Hey, it's pretty fun. Wait, I recognize these houses. This is for Christmas. Yeah, I recognize this. Yeah, and heck, look at the background. It's definitely Christmassy. Like, I see lights. I see the candy canes. Yeah, this is definitely Christmas-oriented. I think I talked about this before. Okay, now I'm starting to get my bearings. Now I'm starting to remember everything. All I need to get is 200 million points. And after I cross that threshold, I can literally just, like, do whatever I need to do next with pure ease. So let's poop, jump here, and yeah. I'm pretty sure I don't even need to complete the run. I think all that matters is that I just get, have to get 200 million points in general. Like, I don't have to complete it, nor do I have to get, uh, do it in the normal run. I'll get all those. Slop. Bonk. Shoot. I'm getting some good archery in right now with this gun. Shotgun cookie. My favorite cookie. 
That's a lie. Not my favorite cookie, but one of my favorites. I think they're legit cool. Up oh, 200 million points. All right, let's quit. So I think we should be done here. We're basically speed running this up at this point. So I'm going back down here, checking the events. Yeah, there we go. Freshly complete. Beautiful. So the next mission is open two gold chest. This one is painful because that means you guaranteed have to run in trophy race because that's how you have to do it because then you open gold chests and then you have to run a couple times. So I probably need to record another video in middle in like in between this just to do some practice runs in the new uh, shining glitter cookie map in trophy race. So you'll have to give me a bit, but I think I did enough of like the footage, like I showed enough content here to kind of give you an idea of what the plug is going on with this. So just give me some time. It's probably gonna take a couple of days for me to do, or maybe not even one, depending on how much I try and rush through this. But yeah, we're gonna try and get some good loot in this. I think it's been approximately like four or five days since this event started. It's probably less than that, to be honest. However, everything is done. As you can see, I only have one thing left, and it's all the way at the end, which is open four gold chests. Yes, of course, that is hectic, but before we do that, let me just do a recap of every single one. So, for chapter one, I'm going to go in a straight up circle starting from here and going up and over, down and under, and then back to start. So it says, Breakout, collect 1,500 jellies, then collect 200 lights here in Breakout, break out 1,000 or 15,000 coins, that's a lot, uh, 10 ingredient pouches in Breakout, uh, collect 8,000 jellies in Breakout, then in Trophy Race, open two gold chests, uh, this one's earned 200 million points in a single run, or that might be 300 million. Either or, you got that. And this one is join a guild and then check in one time. Which, surprisingly, that wasn't as hard. If you did that on the first day, then good for, good for you. Now we move on to chapter 2, where it starts off with team fight. Run and finish one time, which I was able to do that. But then, we're gonna go over and up and under, and we see cookie trials. 5,000 bear jellies. Uh, cookie trials enter bonus time three times. I recommend doing either or with space donut, because it just gave me, it gave me a lot. Then cookie trials destroy 500 obstacles. I did that with dark chocolate cookie because I thought it just made sense. Uh, cookie trials get 1.5 billion points. I just ran a lot in trials. Mainly, I think I just mainly space donut because it gave me a lot of jellies. Uh, but then story mode, you use one ticket. I actually did record a, a bit of story mode in order to do this. Uh, and then guilds play guild runs three times. I was able to do that. And lastly, guild runs score 100 million points in a single run. Pretty easy. And then we get to the last ones. So, Trophy Race is 2,500 jellies, uh, 10 potions in Trophy Race, uh, 1.5 billion points in Trophy Race, and then create something in the Magic Lab one time. It's pretty easy. I did that with a bit of Rainbow Cubes. And then the last one is open four gold chests. But before we did that, we would have uh, Breakout, destroy 100 obstacles. I did that with Sorbet Shark. Uh, breakout, collect 1,000 bear jellies. I did that pretty easily as far as I remember. You just get, gotta have good luck with cookies. And lastly, Breakout, earn one, 150 million points in a single run. As you can see, if I go over to Trophy Race, I ran quite a bit because I have 41 of these tickets. So, I can open one right here. Let's just quickly open them. Look at that, I got a Prospector Moly. It's pretty sweet. We'll open up another one. This is two. Got an Herb Teapot. We'll open another one. Oh, there we go. This is three. Got myself an Inktopus and also a Spare Treasure. Also getting some nice Spare Potions out of this. And lastly, got a pe Panakia Pestle. That's pretty cool. And Firecracker Cookie. Nice. So those four trophies, or those four chests have been opened, and as you can see, this event now gives me 15 pepperoncino cookies, and it's now fully complenished. Complenished, completed, finished, I just combined two words into one because that's how epic it is. But before I end this video, I do want to say there is another thing that I wanted to finish up. There's an event called I'm the Spicier One, Team Sweet, uh, Tween, Tween? Team Sweat Flood versus Team Ice Tongue. And I decided to join uh, the team Ice Tongue because, to be honest, I always try and join the team that's losing and try to help with. Uh, I'll help out to the best of my ability, and also you can get a reward uh, for just being part of the underdog team. But it unfortunately, it looks like we're losing right now. However, I am the top for the uh, top 30%, specifically 29.9. But also, you get a bunch of rewards, which end up being a bunch of like coins, uh, rainbow cube. Uh, is it rainbow cubes? Oh, I thought I saw rainbow cubes, but nope, I'm wrong. But there are a lot of sugar crystals, uh, crystals in general, uh, spirit potions, coins, and a bunch of other things. And as you can see, we can claim it all, and we just got a butt ton of loot right there. So we'll take that to our collection, and we'll basically just end the video right here, because we basically got all the rewards of this, and also all the rewards of this. You can still run and destroy obstacles just to help out your entire team, because I'm pretty sure you also get an entire team reward. And also you get extra rewards if you end up being a percentage of your team who end up helping. 
So, with that being said, if you did enjoy this video, uh, if you did enjoy this video, why I say didn't, uh, please be sure to leave a like on it, and I'll share with friends more quicker on content, and if you enjoyed my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel, and if you haven't yet, or you want to, hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to receive all my notifications on the YouTube channel in the near future, and last but certainly not least, I have merchandise if you want to check it out, I'm not forcing you to buy anything though, I'm just saying there might be something interesting in the shop that you might be interested in, but above all else, I will see you and Guardians in the next video, hail the hype knees!